The Wizard of Oz. Maybe you have read this story as a child. Maybe you read it to your children. And Dorothy went on a journey with her three friends that she met along the way, and they went down the yellow brick road, all in pursuit of something that they felt that they were they needed because they were incomplete, and they needed this thing externally to complete them in life. The lion was a coward, and he felt he should be brave, so he must find some courage. The Tin Man, he just wanted to feel. He wanted to know what it was like to be human, so he must find a heart. And then you had the Scarecrow. Well, the Scarecrow's head was just full of straw, so he needed a brain. And who was going to give them these wonderful things? Why, the Great Wizard of Oz, of course. But when they got to the Emerald City, the Wizard. Wasn't great at all. He was just a regular guy. He was a phony. He couldn't give them these things that they were so desperately seeking. And it was just in that moment where they felt that their world was crumbling down that Dorothy took a moment to reflect, because it takes a woman to spot these kind of things. <laughs> And she realized that they had been showing these things the whole way. The lion was courageous. The Tin Man had compassion, and the Scarecrow was wise. Often, we miss what is already in us. Everyone in this audience already has everything that they need to go and pursue their dreams, their aspirations. You just got to connect to that courage and that inner strength to go ahead and do that. So, what is it that stops people? What is it that stops people from going out there and doing these things? How can we be so certain one minute, and the next minute we backtrack? I'm very curious about what happens there. And the more that I work with people, the more obvious it seems that we listen too much to this. We rationalize so much with our heads, and we do not listen enough to this, to our heart, what our heart desires. And the more that we use our head to navigate us through life. The less we are listening to what we really want, and we feel unfulfilled, we feel dissatisfied, and we talk ourselves out of the very things that we want. So, how can you step away from all of that? How can you truly elevate yourself and rise up to your highest potential? Well, let me share with you four simple steps that you can do. <laughs> 